good morning everyone uh, woke up here today rested and feeling a little bit better actually I'm really sorry about the two last days here because I haven't done much filming uh, partly depending on my bad mood after I lost my GoPro on the hillside however that's been sorted I had so much people offering to help me it's unbelievable I'm so I'm overwhelmed really and um, in the end the guy who said he had it in the hut on the mountain that was a Samsung camera so it wasn't mine there was another guy who went there to pick it up Peter thank you Peter very, very nice of you and um, so he couldn't get it obviously but another guy managed to get me the phone number of the ticket stand and they had a business card from the guy who found it so I managed to get in contact with him over the phone and he's gonna send it to Sweden now it's the right one so yeah let's just carry on and see what happens today Check it out, I just had to stop, I just had to stop, this is just spectacular. Nice huh? <clears throat> I don't know what that is on top there, but this is stunning, Slovenia. I think I'm allowed to film here. This is the border to Croatia. So uh, we'll see what happens. Fingers crossed. So that was that, I suppose. We're in Croatia. Welcome. First visit, I'm not going to tell you what it is, but it's just around the corner and it's quite cool. So here we are. Now I'll tell you, this is the birthplace of Tito. You can say what you want about Tito. You can say a lot of things about Tito. But he made quite an impression in his time. There he is. Let's go and have a look. Look how short the bed is. This sign here, it says uh, 
Feel free to test our mattresses and lay down. The pillow is also very nice, but the bed is a little bit short. That's what this is. So this little cradle, I wonder if Tito was sleeping in that when he was a tiny, tiny, tiny little dictator. I can't stop myself from wondering are they a little bit proud that he was born here or are they a little bit ashamed that this is the cradle of the dictator Tito? I imagine, you know, you can be proud of uh, the fact that a historical event happened here. You don't have to agree, <clears throat> you don't have to like it, but you can realize the significance and, and shouldn't that be enough? Maybe you don't have to be proud or ashamed. Maybe you just have to realize the significance. All right, I'm going to sign the guidebook. Yeah, sorry, the guest book, of course. This place is not only about Tito, it's also about how the people in this area lived. And we're gonna go around this museum here and have a look because it's a really nice day. I took my jacket off, still have my riding pants and riding boots on, but that's okay. New GoPro camera, what can go wrong? It's got to be a pump or something. Could it be a fire engine actually? Yeah. It says here, this is a green fire engine with red details on it. Oh, cool. Yeah, look at this. Here is hose. Ta -da. This is the fire department. Saving a damsel in distress. More firefighting tools, vehicles, ladder. Very cool indeed. Oh. Ha. Imagine to have one of those helmets when you're riding Betty. Look at that. Newly wed or going to be wed, probably. I'm telling you one thing, it's not gonna be much action on that little bed there tonight. It's too small. Well, maybe not. You do the best of the situation, I guess. That's uh, how you have to do with everything in life. And here is obviously the dentist office. You see all these, it could be uh, for pulling teeth or drilling holes and then you melt down some old teeth and you fill in the holes. 
Yeah, I know my history. Preparing skin, making shoes. What can possibly go wrong as long as you have leopard? Apparently the corn is massive around here. I drive through fields of corn all the time and sunflower, like I saw earlier. This is really cool, isn't it? Right. So that's it for this museum. Uh, it was quite cool, I think. I'm interested in history and stuff and, you know, for me that's interesting. I don't know about you, but this is my video, so you get to watch what I choose. Now I'm going to follow this young woman's advice and find the ATM cash point because this is not a Euro country. So I just stopped in this huge mall to see if I can find a memory card for my cameras and see if I can get the uh, helmet cam going again. I think the camera is busted actually but I'll give it a go. It's too big. This one looks like they can have a memory card. Right? Hello. Hello. Uh, is it okay if I film? What? It's okay if I film. Yes, uh, do you have memory cards? Okay. SD card, you don't. Anywhere here? Santo Domenico, upstairs. Upstairs? Yes. Wicked. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Santa Monica. Santa Monica. Upstairs. It wasn't Santa Monica, it was Santa Domenica. And it's across here. It's not here. It's a... Uh... Ah. I give up. I'm going out. Get on Betty and carry on. Wow! What is this? Museum Autobilia. Don't really have time or energy. I'm going out. With the risk of sounding like Carl Pilkington, I don't see the point in this big, huge complexes. I can see better now. I'm getting out of here. Shit. So I didn't get a uh, memory card, but I did get to see that fantastic mall. Hello, I'm indoors again. Uh, it was uh, thunder and rain and everything. So I decided again to get a room and I have to say if you look at it we start here this is the reception a little bit cupboards here you put on hanging up clothes I've got my little office here and welcome in here there's the bedroom and this man check it out 
Really nice. Anyway, so this is where I'm sleeping. You want to see where Betty is sleeping? Yeah, come with me. So here, here is where Betty is sleeping. Look at this house. Quite cool. So my helmet camera. I think I've sorted it out actually. Uh, so it should be okay to film with us one tomorrow as well. So yeah, coffee and a little bit of uh, Netflix. What was I watching? Yeah, Aquarius, but Charlie Manson. <laughs> <laughs>